Okay, we're in the attic space. The exterior walls are always B. Uh, the interior, interior, the roof decking is OSB radiant panels. We have color ties. I haven't seen any palm bracing. This is neither good nor bad. The gas line down here. The gas line to the furnace. Okay, it should be protected by a curb, probably painted yellow or red as well. This is the fresh air induction fan, saved by the bell. All right, this guy here, he has a filter inside of him, so you need to check that filter every once in a while, whatever the manufacturer tells you to do. So, air duct should not be kinked. All right, all this kinked duct. Then air duct should not have more than a quarter inch sag in it. This is all pretty tight in here. I don't know how you're going to avoid some of the sag, but but it shouldn't. All right. Then the insulation right here, it says that it's 14 inches thick. I come along here and look inside there. It says that it's 13 inches thick. I don't know if you can see that. All right, I'll check that. Okay, this is the furnace. This is your zones. Evaporator coil. And then the data plate. I have a picture of inside the data plate. I have a picture inside the air filter. Um, evaporator coils. You do have a secondary drain line and a float switch. I don't know why that line is restricted with a cap. I imagine it's a, an energy consideration, but it really shouldn't be restricted with a cap. If you had to blow out a service valve over here, that would be restricted. But anyway, whatever the code guy says, but it is insulated like I like to see it. Um, it does have a deep P trap like I like to see. So all those things seem to be, and it does have a safety float switch right there. Okay, um, we've just about covered the attic space.